Nieves Rodriguez has to sweep ash from her yard every day. She has a volcano on her doorstep in El Paso on the Spanish Canary Island of La Palma. The mountain of fire is just three kilometers away. The noise is terrible. You can't sleep at night. And the earth keeps shaking. Lava has destroyed over 2,000 buildings since Cumbre Vieja erupted on September 19th. 7,000 people have been evacuated. Nieves Rodriguez has had to leave her home several times because of toxic gases. But at least she still has it, she says. If the lava comes here, I'll have to go too. Hard to imagine. We've worked here our whole lives. It's painful to give everything up. The lava has buried entire villages. Many roads are no longer accessible. The authorities have set up an exclusion zone to protect the population. Locals are only allowed to come back to pick up personal items. The Red Cross is helping out, distributing masks and providing medical treatment and psychological therapy. This couple lost their house of 40 years. They're going to move in with their son, who lives on the edge of the exclusion zone. We're not doing well at all. We're living out of a suitcase. Our house is gone and our land. It's hard to accept. We've lived there for so many years. Ana Perez is a psychologist who volunteers with the Red Cross. She says that the people need help now because otherwise they might be traumatized for life. Yesterday, a woman told me she shouldn't complain because she'd found a place to stay. But I told her she had every right to be angry because the volcano had taken away something important, the feeling of living in safety. All of a sudden, the whole area has to be evacuated again. There is a cloud of sulfur dioxide that's toxic. This is also a problem for agriculture, which provides an income to most of the locals. José Gregorio Díaz has to keep clearing his banana plants of ash. The sharp particles have scratched the leaves and the fruit, and he fears nobody will want to buy the bananas. He's also worried about the long-term consequences. I don't know what these plants will look like next year. They're full of ash. The leaves will burn in the sunlight. And if the rain comes and then the sun again, they'll really burn. It's 30 degrees here every day. I don't know what's going to happen here. Of course, he is aware of the fact that La Palma is a volcanic island. This eruption is the third in 80 years, and it's always been dangerous. When San Juan erupted, back then many of my ancestors emigrated and tried their luck in Cuba or Venezuela. That's not an option today. The Cubans and Venezuelans come here these days. Where can we go? We live on this small island, far from Europe. Nieves Rodriguez is sick of the volcano. The ash, the smell, the noise and the tremors. She wonders how long it will go on for and what will come of La Palma. I'm worried about the future. All the people losing their houses, their work, everything. They fought for their homes. They put so much in. And now they have to start again? That's hard. And the same day, the island registers an earthquake of 4.9 magnitude on the Richter scale, the worst since Cumbre Vieja erupted. It's hard to tell when this disaster will be over. <laughs>